uh, show you the latest updates to uh, Google Plus events and how you can create an event and then also how you can duplicate that event. Okay. So what you'll do is you'll go to your profile and you go to your events page. And you'll see here I've created for this for this client, I've created a bunch of events, and some of them are events that sort of repeat themselves. Um, I mean, they're a client that do fitness work uh, and things like that. So, how to create an event? You click on Create Event, okay? And if you want to learn more, you can click on Create, uh, uh, do a quick tour, okay? And basically, this will guide you through, step by step, through how you do everything, okay? Now... Let's let's take that aside. Now, what you might, might want to do is, in your photos gallery, upload a bunch of really big photos, okay, that you want to use for your header for each of the uh, uh, each of the events. Or you can just use a theme. Now, this client here is a sport; um, they're, they're a fitness studio, so they might want to use this theme, this theme. If they're doing baseball, that one, uh, you know, fitness, general fitness, that one. But there's not really that much to choose from, but you can create your own ones. Um, but you have to upload them to your photos first, and they've got to be about 1,200 pixels wide. Okay? All right. But anyway, let's just say we're going to choose this theme. We'll set that as the theme. Okay. So you put your event title in. Oh, the first thing I would always do, actually, is click on this and go, on, go to Advanced. Show Advanced Fields. Okay? Now, if it's just a general um, event, you put in the event title. This, the start date and the end time, end start time and end time if necessary. The location, this looks up a Google location, so make sure it, it finds the location because then that will include the map in your, in your event. And the details, which I would always, you know, a one-line um, information about it. Now, don't worry if you've got to repeat this a lot because you can actually duplicate events, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Okay, website URL, if there's tickets for sale, if there's a YouTube video for it that you want to embed inside the, the event, um, and if you've got some parking information, put it there. Now, if this was just an online event, you'd have it as a Google Hangout, okay? But if this is, if you want it to be this like a TV show event, you can make this event on air, and then when you do the event on, on, your, video, on your video camera as a Hangout, um, it will be streamed live to your YouTube account. Okay, all right, so there we go. So that's basically how you would create an event, okay? Provide as much detail, especially if this is a recurring event, provide as much detail in the first one because then you can just continually duplicate that. Okay, so let's just say we want to duplicate an event, okay? So I'll go to the events page and let's just say this is a boot camp, which, is, which this one does uh, recur. Unfortunately, you can't do recurring events at the moment um, but you can just click on duplicate event and then you just change the date and all you have to do is change the date and time, that's it. And, and in a lot of cases, just the time. Okay? And once you've done that, that's, that's a new event added. So if, if you're like this, a, a fitness studio, uh, what you would do is you would, uh, you might have to create this if it's every Monday um, at 6.30am for a month, you might have to create this one four times. If it's every, but if it's the same time, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you might have to re, uh, duplicate it 20 times, but it's worth the effort because these events actually go live on Google search, okay? And they go live on, your, and you can have them go live on your website using our plugin, uh, and so that it automatically creates them on the website, okay? So I'll give you an example of this. So you can see here, uh, we've put in the calendar uh, widget on the page. We've put in a past events widget. And we've put in a countdown widget with, with the latest five uh, events there. Okay? So this is automatically, once you've added it to your Google+, Plus, this is automatically happening on this, uh, this website for this company. Okay? So... I would suggest that uh, that you, you get used to Google Plus events because they're becoming more and more popular and because if you want people to attend your event, you, it, they actually will appear in Google search if people search for like um, fitness events in, in your area, okay? If they search for boot camps in your area, it'll actually come up as an event uh, and people then can join there. 
Now, the final thing about Google+, Plus and why it is so good, is that anyone who starts at saying they're going to attend this event can actually take photos and actually contribute photos to the event. They can contribute videos to the event. So anyone who says through Google that they're going to the event. Now, look, it's not going to be popular for a while, that feature, but eventually it will become popular. Okay, because this will be the number one place for people in business um, to go, and it's already becoming that way anyway. All right, so that's that's a, a general tutorial on on Google Plus events and how important they are for your business. Thank you.